and so we are gonna get behind the wheel of the ghost, right? I'm more, I'm anticipating the ghost more than I'm anticipating this. Mm. Man. <laughs> it's a good thing this is on a wow. close course. Just your friendly neighborhood, young Chevy truck back at it again with another regular, another regular video here. We got Mopar in the channel today. And not only do we have Mopar, but we have two. We got old school versus new school, y'all. I've always wanted to make a video like this, but I mean, it's rare that you have like two of these dope cars in one place. So, right here, we got ourselves a 1969 Dodge Charger with a 440 in it. And of course, most of you already know the specs of a Scat Pack Charger with a 392 Hemi in it. And so we're gonna be comparing these two bad boys today. So of course, I take them on the road and uh, look at some similarities. Cause there are actually a lot of similarities between these two that I didn't even realize until now, until looking at them. Let's go ahead and get them out on the road. Just, 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 just uh, jump straight into it. Just a quick little curve. overview, yeah, because you, you optioned this one out a little different, didn't you? Than the, than the normal scat pack, right? Yeah, it has a few options. The um, the sunroof, mm -hmm. uh, painted brake calibers, yeah. uh, and of course uh, the leather. I got to have leather, you know? Yeah, yeah I, I know. And, uh, and nap. That's mm -hmm. about it. That's, yeah. that's all I really wanted. They had a... Um, Beat stereo. Mm -hmm. I paid a lot extra for it. Didn't want it, but I yeah. Ooh, color really? or, the, or the stereo. Which one? You, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, gotta get okay. that. Uh, color. Yeah. 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 So I, I got it with that. So I'm good. And you're a Mopar guy. Like for, from since day one, you've been a Mopar guy, right? Most of my life. Yeah. Wow. You got a couple Camaros, right? But yeah, I had a Z28 just to see what the other side was up to. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, it was good. It yeah. was good. It was good. And. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but yeah. uh, mm -hmm. after I getting it off the showroom floor, well, as a matter of fact, I had a IROC, a 89, mm -hmm. and then I traded that in for a Z28. Yeah. And uh, both, both cars were good. IROC was blue, Z28 yeah. was red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's crazy. And you had, you bought the Ghost in the Garage back in... 1978, right? Yeah. 78. Yeah, I'm proud to say that. Before yeah. I was born. Before you were born and, ooh, man. A lot of things going on back then. Mm -hmm. uh, same, you know, a lot of different things happening today, but wow. that's how much time passed. Yeah. Before the internet, before Wi-Fi. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, yeah, whoa. <laughs> back in the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go that far back. <laughs> that's so cool. And then you decided to go and get yourself just a little toy to have fun with, with a warranty that you could just take out whenever. I want a, I want a hot rod with AC. Yeah. Okay. AC. Yeah. Okay. You lived that life. You. It's safe to say you've lived that mm -hmm. life for quite some time now. So yeah. you, you, I think you deserve it. For sure. Uh, I'm hoping I earned it. Yeah. I'm hoping I did. I think you did. Hot rod with AC. I All think right, you did. Then. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and jump okay. into it. We'll ask you some more questions. I'll hand the camera off to, to my brother over here. Go follow him on Instagram at the Cool Zach. <laughs> Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram as well. I'll put it right down here for y'all somewhere. Young Chevy Truck on YouTube. I haven't been in like a high power car in a while. I think the last one was uh, was Kyle. It was uh, a uh, Albino Rhino. Yeah, Albino Rhino 392 on YouTube. Go subscribe. All right, Zacharias. I'm gonna hand it off to you. Okay. Does it scrape ever? No. Okay. I love that sound. <laughs> I love that sound. That never gets old. This is great. This is great. We decided to start with this one because it had the air conditioning. So between the two, what similarities do you notice in the two cars? Since they're both both Dodge products at the end of the day, even though like one is significantly older than the other, what do you notice? The power, of course, and uh, you know, having four doors, that's that's uh, a bit different, but um, other than the, you know the design, it, both have sleek designs and uh, the speed both, limit both is 25 have, uh, miles per hour. Nice power. That's that's basically it, and you know of course the uh, technology and the interior, exterior, all that is up to date. That's a good way to put it. And so with the Ghost, do you think they're evenly matched? 
Uh, both are 12 second cars. Uh, yeah. I've been uh, 12 3 uh, with the old one uh, needing a tune up, so mm -hmm. I was thinking that it still had a little bit in it. Yeah. A little, little mm -hmm. bit more, a little bit more tuning, and I could probably dip into the high 11s. Uh, maybe 11.99, but it, um, it'll, be, it'll, it'll get there if I tune it up properly. Yeah. Now, uh, the speed limit is 35 miles on, per hour. Is on it? the console, you'll see a button where it says sport. Fun little car. The speed limit is 35 miles per hour. <laughs> and a friendly reminder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's sick. laughs> I absolutely love this thing. And so we are going to get behind the wheel of the ghost, right? Today? Hmm? We are. I am going to get a chance to get behind the wheel of the ghost, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get behind the dinosaur. Okay. Mm -hmm. The dinosaur. <laughs> Honestly, I'm more, I'm anticipating the ghost more than I'm anticipating this. Mm -hmm. Quite honestly, just because the you, ghost is what it is. I've driven a few of these before, yeah. and the ghost is like for those of you who don't know on the channel, y'all. The ghost is like that legendary car of the family. You know how your uncle always has that one car that he just like has in his garage. That's the one. Okay, <laughs> he's gonna let me drive that today. So, like the car that I was afraid of as a child when I was knee high, I was like it's too loud <laughs> as a kid, and he's gonna let me drive that today. So I'm big excited. Needless to say. Big excited. Let's get out in front of them just a little bit. You know, just yeah. You, you, you can play with the shifters. The speed limit here is 55, but uh, okay. you'll get 55 pretty quick. And it's a close course. And it's a close mm. course. Yes. It's a close course in Mexico. Yeah, that too. <laughs> like Kevin Dean said, it's so nice to be able to compare these two today. I'm really excited to see like. How similar they really are. I think the fact that like people like to hate on this car for being a four door, but they gotta keep up with the times. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's a four door, notice it's one of the only four doors that you can get this this quick. So, like the Chevy SS is discontinued, the CTSV is discontinued. It's only Hellcats and Scat Pack Chargers so nowadays. It makes this in a two door. <laughs> the speed limit is 35 miles per hour. That never gets old. And the pop. No traction you know control. Uh -huh. No traction control, and the, and the steering is all over the place. And the ghost is like sailing a boat, I imagine. You just kind of, you know. Yeah. But so is the truck. You know, so is the truck. You gotta yeah. be careful with the B word now. Oh, yeah, I gotta be careful with the B word. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I can say boat because I have one. Oh. You know? I don't know. Who is that offensive to? Who is boat offensive? Steven used it in an offensive way yesterday. In <laughs> an oh. offensive way. <laughs> It's so easy to just, <laughs> it's like there's nothing, like Zach said, there's nothing you can't do in this car. That's what I have. When you're going to get, get away from everything and everybody, you just push some buttons and paddle some paddles and then leave the crowd. Just go where you want to go. That is so nice. That's so nice. I'm done now. <laughs> I'm done. Short boost. Yeah, just a little short boost. <laughs> I'm not one of those people who can just keep on going. No, I can't do that. I can see where if you didn't know any better, this thing could end up uh, left or right and not straight ahead like you intended. Yeah, you, you got to pay attention to the power for sure. You can't sleep on it. 
that's why they should not be in everybody's hands. There's, they should. There's some older operators out there who don't need this much car. Yeah. 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 I think this Honda want this heat. <laughs> this Honda behind us want this heat. I bet that's a, that's a Dodge thing. As soon as you're in one of these, you're like, mm, yeah, who want it? <laughs> That's too nice. Too now nice. it's awesome from the outside or from the inside. The speed limit is 35 miles per hour. <laughs> okay, woman. <laughs> She's so awesome. Okay. Okay. Woo, child. All right. It's time for uh, La Ghost. Phase two. All right, y'all. It's time to uh, pull the beast out. And so, wait. Before you, before you do that, you have... It's a 440, right? Mm -hmm. 440 cubic inch. Um, a couple goodies in there, just a couple. Yeah, a little add on, a couple add on. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, turn downs at the back with what kind of mufflers? Dynamax. Yeah, oh, you awesome remember me saying that. Yeah. Make sure I'll link the uh, the old video down below, y'all, because because uh, there was a video where like it was the early stages of this channel where I rode in this car. So make sure y'all go check that video out after you're done with this one.
so nasty. Oh my god. And we're supposed to be doing a comparison. Yeah, ain't you doing But I think the only thing you can really compare it to is the fact that it's still a big body, even today. The Charger has big always body. been a big body. Yeah. Yeah. Big car, big sedan. But I like that though. I've always liked that about them. And I think people think that, you know, they killed it when they put four doors on it, but they had to appeal to the masses and why not do it with a car that was already large to begin with, you know? So that's just how I feel about it. It was smart marketing. They knew what they were doing. They yeah. wouldn't have put them extra doors on there if they hadn't thought it through over and over and over. I feel good. I can't believe that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Scrape it down off the ceiling when we get it back Yes, home. you will. <laughs> I've got my one for uh, 
for the day of the week, the year, all that. I, I, I feel good. Tell them folks they need to take us to 10,000 subscribers now. Y'all need to like this video because, boy, Rob from Whitlock Garage is going to lose his mind when he sees this video. And he should. Just tell them if they like, if they like the video. Uh, oh, look at this guy. Uh -oh. I'm not doing nothing. Nope. Uh, he got it. He got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> we'll get it next time. Okay, next. This is just a dress rehearsal. I'm not allowed. Got it. Just this morning. This morning. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they just want to. Yeah. Just that fancy. Where are you from? Make it feel important. If I, if I was on the scat pack, I would have did something, but not this. I'm sorry. I'll wait till he's in the driver's seat to do all that other stuff. Yeah, if it wasn't for the truck, I wouldn't have been ready for this. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> You're more ready than you realize. Huh? Got my skin glistening in the light right now. <laughs> Just wait till he drives the truck. That's gonna be great. Oh yeah. That's gonna be good. So much success today on the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel. Where the door handle at? There it goes. Alright. Alright. That was dope. <laughs> I can't believe you let me drive this. Man. <laughs> it's a good thing this is on a wow. close course. <laughs> something that that 392 will never do like it, I mean not not the burnout like I get the burnout right but in terms of the experience though the oh, experience yeah. behind it notice I could pretty much hop in a 392 and, and figure it out this I needed help yeah, I needed yeah, him yeah, to, yeah, to yeah, guide yeah, me a little bit yeah. Yeah. <laughs> destruction manual exactly <laughs> beasts in the driveway well in the garage oh it is hot in here now because both of them are hot but man the, these these two vehicles man it's like i could never begin to to show you i can never begin like it could take the the greatest uh four speed films kind of video to to show you how dope this is but i feel like even then it wouldn't show you how strong it is though it would never show you like the experience behind it. It'll never show you the sound behind it. It'll get pretty daggone close, but close to impossible because it's so much. It's so much. I couldn't even get into it all the way because it's just not what I'm used to. This, of course, new, refined, easy to drive. Your grandma can hop in it and it's easy. But this took instruction. It took time for me to get even remotely comfortable in it. Manual brakes, shift kit. And it's so funny because this thing of course it's modified but it's like they took what they modified here and said okay we need to implement all of those modifications and put it into this stock we need the transmission to shift fast we needed to bark the tires we needed to have at least 450 horses for it to be good we needed to stop so they basically did all the homework from this and what people did to this and they put it into here stock 
That's crazy, y'all. This is actually one of my dream cars for real. I don't. I never really talk about it, like. But most of y'all know I really like all cars. Like all cars are, are on my agenda, on my list. I got BMWs. I got Fords on my list. I got everything on my list because I just like cars like that. Young Chevy truck is a nickname that was given to me because, well, that's my first setup. Yeah, is a Chevy truck. It's a Chevy C10, and of course I got the Young Face. So, Young Chevy truck. So yeah, that was a nickname given to me. But I like all cars. I love all of them. It was so nice to get into both of these and provide some content on both of these. I can't wait to edit this footage because it's going to be great. Because it's rare to get somebody who owns both of them. Not two owners. He owns both of them. Both Chargers. That's amazing. It was such a nice experience to, to drive this. This is an absolute beast. And I can never even get into how fast it really is. But it's great. I really appreciate you guys watching, man. I know... That uh, I've been gone for a while, but it's just because I've been figuring out jobs, new jobs that I'm trying to get and all that. And, and I couldn't actually post, I, I filmed a vlog that I couldn't post, so that kind of, you know, that kind of didn't make it any better. But I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. And school is coming back around, so I'm really going to try to, uh, really going to try to spit out some videos before that happens. I got a good month before <laughs> back to the old grind. And it's slowly kind of doing it now because of, New job, and I gotta figure school stuff out, and you know, all that stuff. How that goes, most of y'all, anyway. No, y'all know how that goes. I think that's all I gotta say, y'all. I think Dodge has done a great job with this in reference to this. Even in the design, the, the doors, the go fast grooves, and the doors is great. And I feel like the extra door isn't that much of a, uh, isn't that weird. Because this is a very large door, all they did was make this shorter and add a door right there. And then it would basically be that, literally, of course. I mean, they had, to, they had to dip into the market and of course they did a good job by doing so because look, everybody has a scat pack. Everybody has a Hellcat. Everybody has one of these because it's basically the only sedan that you can get now for that amount of money that's that fast. I could talk all day about all this, man. I think this is a good little comparison. Of the two. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you leave a like on this video for me. I'm really proud of, of how this is coming out just from filming. I haven't looked at the footage yet, of course, but I'm really proud of it. I really appreciate y'all for letting me talk for a little bit. So yeah, like I said, leave a like, y'all. I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next one and have a good one.